Hi everyone, Carol Ponsford here, showing you what I've created with the December 2023 Stencil Club set designed by Ray Missigman. She's done some gorgeous floral stencils, one with a flower pattern on it with leaves and buds, and another one that's just a leaf pattern. So I wanna show you what I'm playing with as far as the technique today. I am using the infusions by Paper Artsy. They're a powder that you sprinkle on very lightly and when you when water hits it, the colors just burst. And so I've got three colors I'm using today, Olive Tree, Sunset Beach, and Lemoncello. And you can see you don't get a pure color on these because they've got little flecks of, I'm not sure what the dark colors are, whether that's walnut ink or whatever, but. Um, and so they kind of model and create their own patterns so that you really have no control over, but that's kind of half the fun. So anyway, when I first got mine, it was recommended that you take an ice pick or a sh like a book all or something and punch a small hole in the very top of these. And then before you use them, make sure you shake them up by putting your finger over the hole and just shake because there's... Um, settling that goes on with the different elements in the powders. Okay, I'm going to try it on the gel plate today, and I think that it will provide a very nice effect. So first I'm going to take my gel plate, and I've got a brayer here, and I've also got a spritzer, a fine mist spritzer, and then I've just got some Titan Buff um, Fluid Acrylic by Golden that I'm going to use to clean up the plate if I need to. So I'm gonna lay the stencil on the gel plate and press it down so it gets a good seal on there because I don't want the colors to seep under too much. They will seep some, but I'm trying to keep it to be as little as possible. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the powder, shake it up, and I'm gonna lightly sprinkle a little bit of coloration on here. Then I'm going to add another color. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to add this. It'll give a little bit of brown where the pinks and um, the yellow mix. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a very, very fine mist or sprinkle of powder on there. Next, I'm gonna take my spritzer and I'm gonna hold it back so that I get a really fine mist on it. And I'm gonna spritz until those colors start to get activated. Now I can go back at this point and reassess. Like I think I want a little bit more of the pink here or Sunset Beach. Maybe appear a little bit of the green. Okay, then a little bit more water. Okay, now, next I'm going to take um, a piece of watercolor paper. I have a piece of watercolor paper here. I've got it over here to the side. I'm going to lift the stencil up very gently and quickly so the water doesn't all start running too much and then I'm going to flip it on top of that and let it just sit there. I actually may spritz it just a little bit to get the water activation on it. Okay. Then I'm going to re-spritz this a little bit. Not much, because I don't want the, to lose the pattern if possible. I'm going to take another sheet of watercolor paper, and I'm going to lay it directly on top of the plate and gently 
press down on it. And when you pull it up, you get these gorgeous colors flowing around. I may want to make this one area move just a little bit more. It must have been dry there. So at this point, you can play with it a little bit if you get any big marks like that. You kind of lose, you do lose the pattern, but this just makes a gorgeous paper, I think. And the pattern will be on the other piece. Okay, now I've got some typing paper here that I'm just going to lay. It's like a copy paper that's really thin. I'm just going to lay that down, clean this off. Because again, you get some different textures then on that. Wouldn't that make a great collage paper? And then I'm going to take my paper towel roll and just kind of roll it on here to clean up any excess water. And around the edge of the plate also because all my, my plexiglass has gotten wet and your surface would get wet. Okay, now let's see the... I'm trying to think if I want to pick this up yet, if I want to leave it a little bit. No, I think we'll pick it up. But first I'm gonna roll the paper towel roll on it just to get the excess water so that it doesn't start running a whole bunch when I pick it up. Then pick up the stencil and we have this gorgeous pattern on here. Again, if it's not watercolory enough looking for you, you can go back in very high up and spritz just a little bit of water just to get the colors moving. You don't want too much on there or you'll lose your, your leaf pattern. I can see this as a great beginning for a journal page or um, to cut up and use as ephemera. Now I'm going to set this on a flat surface to dry. And take my stencil and clean it off. Although I probably could have pulled another print on there um, with that copy paper or something that I did before I could have laid that on there and picked up some of the leaf pattern probably. Okay, now let's do this one. Again, I've got some watercolor paper sitting over here on the side. I'm noticing this one's getting a little pooling because I didn't have it on a flat surface, but I kind of like that running. So let's just do a Mary Beth drip. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm going to take the stencil. I'm going to lay it on the plate. I'm going to press it down firmly. This time I might try to use just a little bit more of the powders than what I had done before. Now this one has flowers and leaves, and so I'm gonna to try to be a little bit specific where I sprinkle the powders. So kind of hit the leaf shapes. And this also has very fine lines, so your definition, uh, depending on how wet your paper is, is gonna vary also. And then I'm gonna to try to go in where the flowers are. One here with the sunset beach. And then the yellow, I'm going to kind of do around those pods or other leafy plants that are here. 
and over on this side. Maybe just a little right there. Okay, and again, I'm gonna spritz from a distance. This time I'm not gonna get it quite as wet because I had a problem with it running when I lifted it off last time. But what I'm gonna do is take my paper and I'm gonna wet it down off to the side for the paper that I'm gonna lay the stencil on. I'm just gonna spritz it really good, get it moist. Again, this is watercolor paper. So it's beading up fairly nicely on here. Let's see if I can hold it up and show you what it's doing. And then I'm going to lift the stencil off. And lay it down on top of the paper, the wet paper. And then I'm gonna to try to make sure everything's pressed down so that the colors that are on top of that stencil are getting transferred onto the wet paper. You can already tell this is gonna be a little better. And then if you need to, you can go back in with just a little color. And a spritz. All right, now to deal with this one. Again, I'm gonna spritz it a little bit because while I've been doing the other things, it started to dry just a little bit, but I'm way high spritzing just to get it a little wet. And taking my watercolor paper, laying it on top, and then gently pressing it down. I don't wanna push too hard or it'll squirt the, pig, the colors out farther than what I want them to go. Let's see if I can pick up a little more of the pattern on this one. Although I love those loose backgrounds too, so. Okay, I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna let these sit and dry for a little bit before I pick these up and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And now the reveal of the, the one that was on the plate Again, it won't have the detail that others do, but man, look at that color that you get. It's just gorgeous. And that's only using three of the colors. So, again, if I wanted to spritz and reactivate some of this, I could, but I'm not sure I want to right at this point. So I'm gonna leave it as is right now. And I've got that paper that I used that copy paper that really thin like almost like airmail copy paper I'm going to use to clean up some of it off the plate okay I'm going to move this out of the way let's get to um, star attraction which is this one this is sketch paper recycled sketch paper that I thought I would, when I pick this up, I'm gonna dampen it just a little bit. When I pick this one up, I'm just gonna lay the stencil down on here. See if I can get any more of that color out. I think it probably will give me a, a lighter print. Okay, and here's the one I did with the watercolor paper. Again, this would make great backgrounds for journal pages, the start of one, uh, greeting cards with a cinnamon on them, or just, just anything. Lay that somewhere flat to dry. This one, I'm just gonna roll the paper towel over. Let's see what we got. It 
probably will be much fainter, which is okay, because I like having a variety of papers to work with. Yeah. So this one gave a very light colored watercolor look, which would be great for collage papers, for sure. Let me show you a few others that I've done using the same process as I was practicing to see if it was even going to work for me. Um, this was a not so successful one. It was, it got a little too sketchy. Didn't print all over, but that was the, what was left on the plate. This one I was really happy with. It turned out very nice. And this was what was on the plate from it. Such bright, vivid colors. And this was when I used the, the mop-up paper like this and cleaned up what was left on the plate. So I just got the leaf pattern very faint, which again will make great um, collage papers. Same with this one. It was just a piece of that lightweight, almost like airmail copy paper. And I picked up some leftovers. And then this one, which didn't turn out real great, but I just love it. I can see adding more layers on that and or going back in and outlining, laying the stencil back down, doing some outlining, just a variety of things you can do with them. Join Stencil Club by December 15th to get these exclusive stencils. You get two nine by 11 inch stencils each month for $25. International is 35 because the 25 and 35 include the shipping. You also get 25% off stencils every day. You'll get a special code, code each month to use so that you can go and buy any stencils from Stencil Girl products. And then you also get a um, video by the designer and um, that's only exclusive to club members. Thank you very much for joining me today. Again, my name's Carol Ponsford and I will see you on the blog.